two minutes left of a trade. Uh, nothing really to celebrate if we look at today's S&P 500 intraday chart because, of course, red all day long. But it certainly looks better than it could have done a couple of hours uh, ago. We uh, have rallied into the close. Such that the S&P is down about 0.8 percent. If we look at all four indices, you can see the Nasdaq does lag down more than 1 percent, about 1 and 1.6 percent. But again, all of these indices have improved into the close. In terms of the sectors today, it's been the likes of tech and communication services, materials and uh, consumer discretionary that have lagged. If we look at the S&P 500 for the week, though, it is important to note that we've got gains and gains for all of the major indices. Even the Nasdaq is up over a percent for the week. The uh, S&P is up over 2 percent for the week. The Dow is up about 3 percent for the week as a whole. So today's declines in perspective. Just a couple other week long stories before I get to Bertha Coombs on the story today. The dollar for the week has had a nice little bounce into the end of the week. It is positive for the week as a whole, up about 0.4, 0.5% for the week as a whole. Oil for the week very much uh, lower, down 1% today, down nearly 5% for the week as a whole. And of course, uh, energy and materials have suffered this week because of that. Bertha, main takeaways today. You know, uh the interesting thing that I, I'm watching are, are the small caps. Take a look at the Russell 2000. Not sure if we have the one week uh, chart there. The small caps have really lagged throughout this. When we were moving higher uh, throughout much of the summer, they just lagged. And they're going to be negative once again, it looks like, for the week. That is a really concerning problem when you have that kind of divergence in the market. You can't really get a rally without the small caps. And it's been hard to pick really the sector performances as well this week. We should also point out a very weak day for Hong Kong and China. Uh, keeping an eye on that as we start uh, next week. There goes the bell, ringing the bell here on Veterans Day. The U.S. Armed Forces here at the big board at the Nasdaq uh, is Glamour Magazine. We end up down 204 points on the Dow, off the lows, but with a little bit of softness into the close relative to the final ad.